Baby. What is up, you guys? Welcome to day 19. Today is going to be a little bit of a real talk day. You might have some epiphanies. Get your pumpkin spice out. Get your pre-workout. If you're having a cocktailio, I call it. Have I ever said that on camera? I call it a cocktailio. Whatever. You guys, you have the beverage of your choice. Hopefully you have something to write with and hopefully you are all caught up. By the way, show of hands in the comments or on the live chat, who is caught up, who has been here every single day. Huge shout out to you if you have. Um, And I am watching the comments because we're going to start doing some giveaways. You guys are going to see that. And I'm going to pull from this channel secret. I'm going to pull from this channel to see who's the most engaged across all platforms from like here, podcast, Instagram, and then my main channel. But it's here that I look because you guys are the real deal OGs. So what I want to talk about today is feeling a sense of being underestimated or undervalued as a human being and how that can lead to something sometimes amazing because you you wake up and you know your worth. And sometimes it takes that almost rock bottom moment of feeling just so undermined by someone or a situation, or it could be a person, a company, a boss, a parent, sibling, whatever. And it makes you shift. So I would love if you're comfortable to share it. That's the cool thing about the live chat, by the way, if you're on live, when we do these, that you can actually share and it disappears. So I mean, chat away. But what is a thing that could be happening present day right now that's really bothering you that someone is either something or someone is under uh, undermining or undervaluating or underestimating you, your time, like they're, they're, they're not valuing your time. They're just like, yep, do that. And it's bothering you. Um, Your worth as a human, your capabilities and your potential. Is there a situation right now, maybe your job, it could be with school, it could be a family member, it could be, it could be a per, like a, just a person that you know, it could, it could be on in any situation. This really does circle back to the boundaries conversation that you need to set boundaries, but maybe, maybe we could do one better than that. So I would just love to know and share it because you might have some similarities to other people in the chat, which often is super helpful. Like I love being on live every single day with you guys and reading these comments like the other day when I was on live with you guys and you were sharing your moments of the little winks it makes me emotional. And I, I think that the most emotional part is reading all the comments and the camaraderie between you guys. So just know this is a safe zone. I was just saying this to a friend, the positivity on this channel and on my main channel is it doesn't exist. I I've been on social media for more than 10 years now. And I've seen a lot of other pages. I've seen a lot of situations and how much people have to monitor their pages. I literally don't even have to do that. Like we have such, we have something so special. And I think it's because we've created together such like a safe zone on the internet, which is so rare. So share what you want to share, say what you want to say. So what is something that's happening right now in your life where someone is underestimating you, undervaluing you, your capabilities, your potential. And I want you to think about that, how it's making you feel and actually go there because the only way that you can overcome it is if you recognize that it's happening. So for me, in any moments where my time is clearly taken for granted by someone else, that triggers me. Because over the years, I've recognized that I'm not a weak person. I'm not a not successful person. I'm not a forgettable person. And these are all things I've said to myself back, back way back when. And you might be doing that where you're like, oh, it's okay if they don't recognize me or they don't know who I am or they don't, that person doesn't remember my name or I wasn't important enough to them. Or it's okay if that person undervalues my time. It's not here to tell you. It's not. You're memorable. You're amazing. You're, you are worth it. So if someone is treating you that way, we need to shift things. So obviously boundaries, we've talked about that, but Where is there a time in your life, kind of flip side of this conversation, where is there a time in your life where you've overcame something incredible? So maybe you have overcome just against all odds, you made something happen. So whether it be you just killed it at some like sport in school or you graduated with a degree in something that you're really proud of, or you got a really good grade one day, or maybe you've done public speaking, or maybe you, I don't know, fought an illness and you overcame that. It it could literally be anything. You raised 
exceptional kids. You had a, if you had a baby, you have overcome something incredible. Okay. If you have cared for somebody and they broke your heart and you've overcome that, there's, I mean, we can keep going. Okay. So there's a lot of things that you could have overcome in your past. And I think we've all gone through things that we have overcome something big or small. So I would like you to focus, shift your focus to that. There's, there has to be something in your brain right now where you're like, I did that. And you never, maybe you never took the time until now to think about it. What's something that you did that you're like, I did that. Dang. I just, I got a glimpse of the candle. Launched a candle company. Never thought I would do that. Literally launched a homeware company. That was a goal of mine like years ago to be like, I just want to launch this stuff. Like I want to create things that I love. Like one day, one day you guys are going to see elves in your house that Angie Belmar created. That's like a pie in the sky. Like it's ridiculous. Like wouldn't it be cool if goal. That's something I'm proud of. I'm very proud that the girl that was incredibly beyond shy that would call in sick multiple days in a row to avoid school presentations because I was that shy has spoken on stage in front of 30,000 people without a flinch. Pretty proud of that. I'm very proud that grown ass men (laughs) that are into their mid fifties that want to be intimidated by me are and try to be to to degrade me as a woman that little old little Angie is standing tall and not scared of them. I think that's awesome. I think that's like the coolest thing. So if you're doing something, whether it was way back when or now or anywhere in between that you've overcome something where someone is underestimating you and you're like, no, bro, I got this and you're crushing it or you have crushed it. (laughs) I want to do that thing. (laughs) One second. Don't, don't, don't out of focus me. You can do it again. You can literally do it again. You did it once. You can do it again. Cool. Let me, let me go back to a good angle. So for real, um, if you overcame something very difficult that somebody underestimated you once upon a time, you can do it again times a thousand. So I'm at this point in my own life where when someone underestimates me, undervalues me, undervalues my time, my worth, my capabilities, or my potential, I go, cool, game on. And this is, I'll just tell you, I'll let you into my brain the way that I work. I'm very visual. So that's why I like my planner. What I do is I look at the budget insert or I just grab, I literally have it right here because I just unwrapped a fresh one. My blank, you can't really see it, but they're the blank dot grids. And then I have my other pages here and I doodle on there and I write numbers down. I work very well when I have a target. So if I'm going after something and it has to be something you can control. So a good example of this is if you have a goal of building a business on social media, and this is such a random example, but it's just something I know the goal shouldn't be the followers. So a lot of people that are trying to build a business on social media go, well, I want to be, I want to get a brand deal. So I need X amount of followers. You can't control that. You can control how much content you put out though. So go after the metrics you can control. You can't control, you can't always control how much money you bring in, but you can control how many customers you help, how many people you can attract to you, how many conversations you can have, how many DMs you can answer in a day, how many connections you can create. That's, that's you, you can measure that. So I, that's why I created the daily grind planner because that's how I literally map out my goals. If I have a certain metric of, I want to put out this many videos. That's one of my top 10 goals for the month. If I want to reach out to this many customers every single day for 30 days and have a really good connection with those customers, that's one of my goals. So let the people, experiences, moments, situations that are undermining you fuel you into that metric and show them what you're capable of. My big thing, my mantra that I've been putting in my planner, because I do like a weekly mantra, is just watch. Just sip. say what you want to say. But hold my martini is my new thing, too. I said that to my mom the other day. I was like, you know, like hold my beer, but hold my martini. Just watch. Sit back and watch. I got it. So let it fuel you. You don't have to get angry. But you can hold your ground and know your worth. Cool. I love you. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, dudes.